this Data Bytes episode, we'll explore the query time parsing feature in the logs UI. You may be familiar with the aParse function known as anchor parsing in the new Relic query language, which allows you to extract values from log attributes in order to use these values on charts, search criteria, and so on. Anchor parsing is a powerful capability, but it may still be a bit tedious to write the Nurkle expression manually. With query time parsing, you can define anchor parsed Nurkle expressions visually in the logs UI. Let's see how it works. Here, I see some log messages from users that are adding items to their cart with an item name, item ID, and unit price. I see that these values are varying between my logs, and I wish to extract them into new attributes at query time. I can do this via query time parsing. There are two ways to select the text that you wish to parse. Let me show you the first way via the logs table. First, select the text that you wish to parse by holding down your left mouse button over the beginning of your selection and dragging your mouse to include the values you wish to extract. Let go of your left mouse button once you've reached the end of the text you wish to parse, which will show a context menu with the Create Query Time Parsing Rule option. Click this option to show an editor, displaying the initial string that you selected for parsing. You now need to carry out step two in defining the parsing expression, which is to identify the values you wish to extract. You can extract these values by simply highlighting them. In this example, I'm going to highlight this item value by clicking and dragging my mouse over it. Once I let go of my highlight, a popover appears, prompting me to give my extracted value a variable name. I'm going to call this extracted value item. I can then click Save to save my new variable. As the variable is defined, the name of the variable is substituted into the text I selected for parsing. I can repeat this process to extract multiple values. All I need to do is highlight the values I wish to extract and give them variable names. In this example, I'm going to extract out this item ID, and I'm also going to extract out this price. Notice that as I highlight and extract values, the data preview automatically updates, showing me how my query time parsing rule may be applied in the logs table. I can also click the query tab to see the generated Nurkle query, including the aParse function that will be used to run my query time parsing rule. I can also edit variables by simply clicking them and giving them a new name and clicking save. I can also delete variables by clicking them and clicking delete to delete the corresponding variable. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and keep this item ID. Once everything is defined, click create rule to save and automatically run the query time parsing rule. Notice that three new columns have been automatically added to the logs table with parsing icons to indicate that these columns have been created from a query time parsing rule. There are also values populated in these columns based on the query time parsing rule that I just created. I've just walked you through an easy two-step process to define anchor parse Nurkle expressions visually in the logs table. Earlier, I mentioned that there are two ways to select the text that you wish to parse for a query time parsing rule. Let me show you the second way via the log details view. Click a log line to open up the log details view and select the attribute value you wish to parse. In this case, I'm going to highlight this owner value by clicking and dragging my mouse over it. Once I let go of my highlight, a popover appears with the same create query time parsing rule option. Click this option to open up the editor, which has the same process and flow for extracting values as I've just shown you earlier. To edit or delete your query time parsing rules, click Manage Parsing Rules in the Table Options. A table view will appear, displaying a row for each query time parsing rule that you've created in your current user session. Click the More Actions button next to a row to edit or delete the corresponding query time parsing rule. Clicking Edit will open up the editor, where you can make changes by selecting the variables you wish to create, edit, or remove. In this case, I want to update my rule to rename this item variable to be more specific and call it item name. So I'm going to click the variable, give it the new name, and click Save. Note that I can also delete variables by clicking them and clicking Delete, or highlight and extract additional values. Click Update Rule to confirm your changes and automatically run the updated query time parsing rule. Once you've created some query time parsing rules, you can analyze your logs in powerful ways. You can search on these attributes created from query time parsing. And you can even create alerts on these query time parsing attributes. Query time parsing is a wonderful way 
to define anchor parse Nurkle expressions visually and quickly directly in the logs UI. I hope that you find this video useful. If you want to watch this video again later, you can find it in our documentation linked in the video description below. Thank you for using New Relic.